So here's a take up of the distance time graphs and this is an uh, application of rate and slope. And in these examples, uh, you're asked to look at graphing the lines of the cat and mouse chase and you're given the speed of the cat and where they both started um, and as, as well as the speed of the mouse. And in the first example, you're given that the mouse has a four foot head start. So that means that it is starting at a point zero four and that's uh, the first piece of information you need. And you're also told that the cat and the mouse are both both running at a speed of eight feet per second. Well, if the mouse starts at, a, at four feet, then after one second, it's gonna be eight feet further along if it's traveling at a speed of eight feet per second. So that means at one second, if it started at four, it is now gonna be at 12 feet. So that's where you put your next point is at 112. And then after another second, it's going to be another eight feet further away. So that's going to be a point of 220. And you can draw a line between the two points. And that's the graph for the most the Moses run. And so now if we take a look at the cat, remember the cat always starts at zero zero. And so we put the point there and we're told that after that the cat's going to be running at a speed of eight feet per second as well. So we're going to go over to one second and then eight feet further and put a point at one and eight. Then we're going to go another second up to two. And so now after two seconds, the cat is going to be at 16 feet. So we can now draw the line for the cat. And you'll note that since they are both running at the same speed, that the uh, graph of their uh, distance time is going to be parallel. So the lines are parallel. And as a result, these cat, the cat and the mouse would never, if they kept running at the same speed, would never catch each other. The cat would never catch the mouse. And so we'll take a look at this simulation again. All right, so we're given that the mouse gets a head start of four meters and runs at an average speed of eight meter, eight feet per second, sorry, not metric here, and that the cat runs at an average speed of eight feet per second. And as you can see, this is what we saw before, we have parallel lines, and so if we simulate this, then they're gonna be running at the exact same speed and the cat doesn't catch the mouse. All right, so in the next example, you're told that the uh, mouse had a seven foot head start. So we can start off by putting the point zero seven because the cat is at zero feet um, and the mouse will be seven feet ahead or seven feet closer to the um, mouse hole. And we're told that the mouse runs at nine feet per second. Well, if after one second, the mouse is gonna be nine feet um, further away from the starting point. And so that means that be at a point 116, so 16 feet from the cat's starting point. And that we're, um, we know that the cat always starts at, if we draw a line, then we, if we see that the cat starts at zero, zero and runs at a speed of 16 feet per second. Well, then after one second, the cat will be at 16 feet. And so that'll be the point at which the cat catches the mouse. So we'll set the mouse's head start to seven feet. The speed is nine feet per second and the cat speed was 16 feet per second. And when we simulate this, as you can see, the cat catches the mouse at one, after um, one second, 16 feet from his starting point. The next simulation you're asked to do is you're told that the mouse has a six foot head start and runs at a speed of 10 feet per second. And that you have a super fast cat that runs at 40 feet per second. So we'll start off with our mouse head start at six feet from the cat. And after one second, the mouse will be at 16 feet, which is 10 feet further from the, uh, further along from the starting point. And the next point will be off our grid. And so we can draw our line. Now for the cat, well, after one second, he's gonna be at 40 feet, which isn't on our grid. But after half a second, then we can figure that the, the cat will be at 
20 feet because if it goes 40 feet in one second, it's going to go 20 feet in half a second. So what we do is when we draw this, we can see that the cat is going to catch the mouse at a very early point on here. So we set the mouse's starting point six feet ahead. The speed was 10 feet per second and the cat was running at 40 feet per second. So when we simulate this, we can see that the cat is going to run only 8 feet and catches the mouse in 0.2 seconds because if um, we knew that it was going to be very quickly along so we can reset and simulate this, it doesn't take long. This is a really fast cat and gets the mouse. So the last example we have uh, the mouse getting a 3 foot head start so we can put that point on and we're told that it runs at a, a speed of 4 feet per second so after 1 second it's going to be 4 feet further along or at 7 feet and then after 2 seconds it'll be at 4 more feet which is 11 feet from the start of the cat from the cat um, and then 3 seconds it'll be at 15 feet and now we can draw our line through the points and now for the cat we're given that it runs at 5 feet per second, so after 1 second, it's going to be 5 feet from its starting point. After 2 seconds, it'll be 10 feet, and after 3 seconds, it'll be 15 feet. And so we draw a line through those points, and we can see that the cat is going to catch the mouse 5 feet from the hole. So in the last example, uh, the mouse gets a 3 foot head start runs at four feet per second and the cat runs at five feet per second and as you can see the cat runs five, 15 feet in three seconds and catches the mouse so that means that the mouse is caught five feet from the hole so if we simulate this it gets him at 15 feet from a starting point which is five feet from the hole